to this incredible innovation, dialysis will be just a thing of the past. Catherine from Double Kini here. There are five reasons why someone on dialysis or at risk for end stage kidney disease will not need dialysis anymore in just two years and a half. And this is great news! Just in the United States, more than 90,000 people are awaiting a kidney transplant right now. 12 people on the waiting list die each day. And this is totally unacceptable. But on the right side, there are five reasons why this could be finally over. First reason I want to show you may seem a really good thing because it's something that's already available today and that may mean the end of the struggle for many people on dialysis. Unfortunately, this one comes with a hefty price to pay, just not a monetary one. Number 5. The legal organ market while in almost any part of the world it is illegal to buy or sell organs, some countries have semi-legal or even completely legal markets for organs. In Afghanistan, every day poor people are lining up outside hospitals to sell their organs. This is a market that has never been as active as now, and kidneys are the most traded organs. For many poor people, selling a kidney may mean surviving the winter when their harvest failed. The hospitals handle the removal, transplant and initial recovery of both patients without asking questions. Sellers say their hospital fees are covered by the buyers and after a few days in the recovery ward, they are sent home. In Afghanistan, as in most countries, the sale and purchase of organs is illegal. But the practice remains common as the law turns a blind eye. While many countries have similar customs, some even have completely legal organ markets even with a fixed price for a kidney. In Iran, for example, you will be able to buy a kidney right now for just $4,600. Looks like a bargain, doesn't it? Today, if you walk the streets in Tehran, you will read dozens of messages accompanied by phone numbers and blood types of people selling their kidney legally. Since 1993, doctors in Iran have performed more than 30,000 kidney transplants this way. Now guys, while this may look like a beacon of hope for people on dialysis, we need to consider the human cost this trade poses. Because it's very easy to fall prey of scams and merciless dealers when you don't know how to feed your family. Hundreds of people are believed to have sold kidneys and other organs through shady dealers in the past few years. Some news reported of people who were forced to donate organs against their will. And we need to consider the personal, physical and financial consequences for vendors themselves. This is definitely not something I want to encourage. On the other hand, something absolutely worth encouraging is the research on Number 4. The Bioartificial Kidney It's recent news that the bioartificial kidney, which is almost approaching the deadline for the human trials, is going to be priced to be competitive with dialysis. I mean, can you imagine it? In the next few years, Two and a half years according to insider rumors, people with kidney failure will pay less money to receive an artificial organ than what dialysis costs today. 50% less to be exact, according to Dr. Shua Roy, project leader of the Bioartificial Kidney Team. And many kidney disease patients are already on the waiting list for the human trials. You can submit your info using the link down in description if you already haven't. But why am I so excited for the bioartificial kidney? 
Well, because this is a real bio-artificial organ that will be implanted in people with end-stage kidney disease. Bio-artificial means that it's in part polycarbonate and titanium and in part real, alive human renal cells. This is how it can do their job of a human kidney. The bio-artificial kidney is the size of a coffee cup and consists of two modules that work together and that are powered by the human body. Once implanted, it won't need any external power and it's meant to be permanent without the need for immunosuppressant drugs. It has already proven capable of replacing the human kidney in animal trials. More recently, they tested a complete prototype of this incredible innovation, which means they have already manufactured the polycarbonate shells and they have grown the kidney cell cultures that will be alive in them. They also put all this together and they have shown the world that lab-grown kidney cells can survive while filtering the blood without anticoagulants nor immunosuppressants. And this is really amazing! And right now, the question is not if the bio-artificial kidney is possible, but when is it going to be available? The Kidney Project team talk about some imminent news. Stay tuned here in Double O Kidney so I can inform you as soon as this happens. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Now, there is a technology that's already being tested on humans today that will untie patients from the dialysis machine forever. Number four, the WAC, wearable artificial kidney. Let's imagine that instead of having to spend hours tied to a machine, people in need for dialysis could just do it while they do their normal daily activities. This is what researchers at the Wearable Artificial Organs Incorporation, led by Victor Gura, MD, are trying to achieve. And I know that this doesn't sound as good as an artificial kidney that's actually implanted inside the body, but the best thing about this solution is that it's already being tested on humans. In fact, the device that's worn like a fanny pack has already been tested in Europe. Since it can be worn under clothes, it has the potential to be life-changing. Patients could be getting dialysis while doing daily activities they wouldn't normally be able to do. This device is only going to weigh 2 pounds and can do everything a dialysis machine does, just better. Right now, three human studies have been done with good success. But there are two more studies to go before it might be ready for the public. According to Dr. Gura, preliminary data indicate that patients on dialysis using the WAC might be free to eat and drink with few limitations. Most important, wearable kidneys can keep patients way healthier than dialysis. This is because they work around the clock just like real kidneys do. This leads to better blood pressure control, less fluid retention, less stress on the heart, and a less strict diet. In one word, a longer, better life. Now guys, while this project is being tested on humans right now, we don't have a date for its release to the public yet. The other problem with the wearable artificial kidney is that it won't remove the need for dialysis. It will just make it a lot more practical. Our number two, on the other hand, will. This is probably one of the greatest technological advancements of our time and it's going to be available sooner than the artificial kidney. In fact, this one has already been tested on humans and with success. Number two, the human animal xenotransplantation. It's recent news that a kidney from a pig has been successfully transplanted into a human. This could really change the world of organ transplantation. Last October, surgeons in New York successfully attached a kidney grown in a genetically altered pig to a human patient. And 
they were able to prove that the organ worked normally without triggering immediate rejection. This is a huge breakthrough! The procedure done at NYU Langone Health in New York City involved use of a genetically modified pig. The recipient was a brain-dead patient with signs of kidney dysfunction whose family consented to the experiment before he was due to be taken off of life support. For three days, the new kidney was attached to the blood vessels and maintained outside the body, giving researchers access to it. Test results of the transplanted kidney's function look pretty normal, said transplant surgeon Dr. Robert Montgomery, who led the study. The kidney made the amount of urine that you would expect from a transplanted human kidney, he said, and there was no evidence of the vigorous early rejection seen when unmodified pig kidneys are transplanted into non-human primates. According to scientists, we are incredibly close today to being able to use animal organs to stop the organ scarcity that's killing people every day. But while the genetically altered pig is already approved by the FDA as a potential source of human therapeutics, medical products developed from the pigs will still require specific FDA approval before being used in humans. The NYU kidney transplant experiment should pave the way for trials in patients with end-stage kidney failure possibly in the next year or two, said Montgomery himself, a heart transplant recipient. The current experiment involved a single transplant and the kidney was left in place for only three days, so any future trials are likely to uncover new barriers that will need to be overcome, Montgomery said. Now, there's an innovation that's even more extraordinary than a kidney from a genetically modified pig. In the last few years, Researchers and doctors have made impressive steps forward in treating very complicated diseases using regenerative medicine. Diseases that were incurable such as leukemia, spinal cord injuries, and even some cancers are now being successfully treated with this therapy. And today, some patients are already benefiting from it to improve symptoms and outcome of kidney disease. Number one, the stem cell therapy. There are clinics around the world specialized on stem cell therapy and regenerative medicine. They offer the promise to improve kidney function even in people in stage 5 after just 3 days of therapy. And they even have healthy customers swearing that the treatment helped them. What they are using are mesenchymal stem cells. This is the body's natural defense against kidney damage. Found in the bone marrow, these stem cells protect the kidneys from injury and accelerate healing. Science has already identified protein candidates secreted from mesenchymal stem cells that may be administered independently via injection to aid in kidney repair. And while this treatment is already available to the public even if expensive, it is not yet approved by the FDA. So if you are going to try it, you will have to travel. I've talked more in depth about this in my recent video. It's up here if you want to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.